Okay, guys, let's now move on to question 2.2. It says, in his 2017-2018 budget speech, the Minister of Finance announced an increase in fuel levies and stated that the projected income from the fuel levies would be 70.9 billion. Okay, The income from the fuel levies for the previous year, right, 2016 to 2017, was 54 billion. So now, I've, I know I've said this in a previous video, but just remember that the budget speech is generally made in March, right? And that's why we say, sort of, we go from sort of March to end of Feb the next year. And that's why it's over two years, just so that you don't get confused around that, okay? So we see that the fuel levies are going to go up between 2016-2017 year and 2017-2018 year. So they're going to go from 54 to 70.9. Okay, so the first question says, determine the percentage increase in the income received from the fuel levies for 2017-2018. So let's just quickly write down our number. Okay, so there's a formula here that we use, which you should know, right? You say new minus old over old times 100, okay? You should know this, okay? So our new amount is 70.9. You don't have to write out all the um, zeros for billion. You can just keep it in, the same, um, in this um, format as long as everything is in the same format. So you're comparing like with like. So we see these are both billions, so we can just keep it like that, okay? Over 54 times 100, okay? So put that into your calculator. Again, the most important thing here is to put this into your calculator correctly. And we see that the percentage increase, right, is 31.30%, right? We generally round off to two decimal places. So that is the percentage increase, okay, from the one year to the next year. Let's now look at the next question, okay? So it says calculate to the nearest billion rand, okay? So telling us it's telling us the format they want the answer in, the total national budget, budgeted income for the fi financial year 2017-2018 if the ratio of the income received from fuel levies to other income received is 7 to 118. Okay? 7 to 118. Okay? So this is quite important. So it's saying right, we have this ratio. Right? And let's just make sure we understand this ratio. So it's saying the total national budgeted income for the financial year, um, if the ratio of the income received for fuel levies to other income. So this is fuel levies, right? That's fuel levies. And this is other income. Okay. So what is it asked for? It's asked for the total national budgeted income. Okay. So we need to find out what the total is. So basically, right, if we add in this ratio, we want to add 7 plus 118, right? And that would give us 125. So that 125 is our total because that's our fuel levy, right? And that is our other, other income, right? And then if you add those two together, it gives us 125. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to convert this ratio into a ratio of 1 to something, okay? The reason I do that is it just makes it a little bit easier to access. So if we divide that side by 7 to get to 1, we have to divide that side by 7, Okay, so it's probably going to give us a decimal, but we don't we don't have to stress about that, right? Just keep it in your calculator, 16.85, okay? Now, we know that our fuel levy for this year, right, our fuel levy for the 2017-2018 year is 70.9 million. So we're going to say, okay, this is 70.9 billion, okay? You don't have to put the billion in, right? You can just keep it in this format. Because then when you do it on the other side, it will also be in billion, right? So some students always want to convert it. Don't, you don't have to do that as long as you keep your formatting consistent. So what did we have to multiply that side by to get 70.9? Well, we had to multiply it by 70.9, okay? What we do to the one side, we must do to the other side, okay? So we take this amount that we have in our calculator, times it by 70.9, and that gives us, 1195.171429. Okay, so what we know is this is the fuel levy, and this here is the other income. Okay, so in order to get the total income, right, total income, we say the fuel levy, and I'm just using shorthand here, plus other income, which is 70.9, right, plus this 1195.171429. 
remembering that both of these are in billions, okay? So take this amount in your calculator, plus, plus 70.9 gives us 1266.07, okay? Now, what did the question ask us? It asked us to the nearest billion rand, okay? So let's make sure that we answer the question, right? So we know that this is rand, and we know that this is billion, but it said to the nearest billion, so it would be 1, 2, 6, 6 billion. Okay, so it's important with ratios, right? And I know often students struggle with this, but if you struggle with a format like this, convert it into a one to something ratio and then it's easier to leverage. Okay, so that's the end of this question. Let's move on to 2.3.